even Adam, our senior citizen on the uh, property, he really likes him too. Hey everybody, John Kernighan here, United Tiny House Association, coming at you from Finn's and my 16 acre beloved cabin, Tiny House Homestead and Stay. Um, today, we're doing a product review for the Opus 1100 watt pure sine wave solar generator. I know some people say don't use the term solar generator, but you all know what I'm talking about. It's a power source, it's a power box. Um, we have uh, something that I really like about this is look at how monolithic this one is. This is gigantic. The other similar type brands that we've worked with and checked out and stuff, as good as they are, they're small panels that are only about this big um, uh, for the other ones. The other ones are about this big, about this size. The Opus gives you double the size. This one panel has the surface space the charging area of two panels from another um, uh, uh, that you see with all the other ones that are out there. And they send you two of these things. They also include an adapter to where you can connect the two together to run off of here. Just for this demonstration uh, purpose, I've only hooked up the one and this is how small they fold up. And everything's in the back here, all the wires and everything of that nature. These two can plug into this and then this can plug into this stands on the back here uh, you can see them on the back it helps them to where you can just set them up and uh, you don't have to lean them against anything and they can uh, be out in the field or etc um, we've had this on the road our bus our little schoolie bus conversion we've powered her on road trips um, little getaways that we've done um, all sorts of different things thing i really like about this three 110 volt 100 watt outlets um, more than enough power here to run whatever you want Love that, love that. Um, we have not used the uh, 12 uh, volt of, of, of uh, 10 amp cigarette lighter type adapter. We have not used that, but these um, high speed charging and these USB charging ports, we've used the pudding out of them. More than enough outputs here to run anything you need. Whether um, we've used this to run sound equipment, the entire sound stage at one of our festivals, uh, we've done that. Um, uh, all the sound equipment and everything ran all day with the solar panels charging all day and then we ran it into the night so you have a lot of outlets even Adam our senior citizen on the uh, property he really likes them too Adam. <laughs> so we th so the other nice thing we like about it is is this LCD I don't know if you can really see it out in the um, uh, sun like this but it shows well in fact you know what let me let me remove this protective co covering here and maybe that'll help show it a little bit more so we're at 100% uh, charge. It shows 99 hours of uh, service time. And that, that's going to change depending on your draw that's coming out. It shows what the input is and it shows what the output is. Well, right now, because we have a full 100% charge, it's not doing a lot for the input because the um, solar regulator um, inside is going to go ahead and stop the flow of electricity, solar power to the batteries so that you don't overcharge the batteries. Um, typical uh, standard uh, solar um, uh, uh, policy, if you will. Um, the other thing is it's really easy, light. Um, it, 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 compared to what all is going on in here, this probably only weighs, gosh, I don't know, 20 pounds, 25 pounds. I don't know. It seems pretty light. Um, but something I really like about this, a lot of these um, uh, uh, miniature little charging systems, uh, power systems, they have a single light on the front, a little round light like this. And it's a nice little feature. You hit it, you know, you got a light and everything. The thing I love about the Opus is they've got this huge light back here. And it's a soft light. And, it, and I don't know if you can see when you turn it on. Yeah, there it is on. And it has different settings. And then you have a flashing setting. But the thing, and we'll see this tonight. But the thing I really like about this is it lights up like this. It lights up this whole area. It's really, really nice the way it lights up the whole area. Um, so there's the light, brighter, and now the flashing. And instead of with other units where you have that single light here and it just broadcast out into this one area and it does and the other ones are nice because they do light up far away They're, it's i'm not knocking the other ones by having that single light up here i'm just applauding opus 
for doing this type of light. So that actually gives you a full light, it, it, um, a surrounding light in an area. It definitely can light up the inside of a bus, a house. Um, if you're in an emergency situation um, and you have conventional housing, 2,000 square foot house, and you want to light up a whole room, this is really nice. This is really, and it's a soft light. I really like that a lot too. The other nice thing is, is for charging this, not only can you use the solar panels, this comes with a standard household AC adapter charging. So you can plug this into a wall outlet. Plus it comes with a cigarette lighter uh, charging. So you can plug it into the uh, 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 cigarette lighter, uh, if you will. I don't even know if they call them cigarette lighters anymore in cars. 12 volt. Um, but the 12 volt round outlet inside of your car, you can charge them off of that as well. So you How have three different R uh, options. Um, uh, Finn's asking about power tools. So um, we do a lot of construction out here. We do a lot of stuff where there hasn't been power run out um, uh, to the property yet in different areas where we're doing work. Um, this is great for charging all of our um, uh, batteries and things for all of our handheld tools, handheld skill saws, drills. Uh, 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 saw saws, things of that nature. Um, you just have this sitting off to the side, you plug your batteries into it, and when we're working, the other nice thing about this is there's nothing worse, and anybody who does construction, you know what I'm talking about, there is nothing worse than a generator running all day long, just uh, in the back background. Um, now, I will admit, um, things like a big old miter saw that requires, uh, that, that isn't running off of a battery that we're plugging into an outlet, um, it'll, it'll drain these down. Uh, if you use that miter saw for like, uh, about two hours, it'll, it'll bring the battery. Cause there's a lot of draw off of those things. How about for it? Um, uh, for refrigerators, Finn's asking about uh, my little, my little Thai hottie with the smoking hot bodies on the camera here. Say hi, Finn. Hi. Um, so that's her voice you hear in the background. Um, so, um, what we do when we're in our off grid applications, is at night when we're um, when we're doing uh, like when we're sleeping and stuff when we're inside, that's when we have our fridge plugged in and turned on and running off of um, our solar system and off of and when we're using the Opus system, and then during the day when we're out and about and we're not doing anything, we unplug our fridge because there's no reason to have that power being used. A fridge is only gonna use power when you're opening and closing it and you're losing all that coolness and it's gonna kick in. So if there's times during the day, uh, which is regular in our lives, where we're not using a fridge, we're out, we're working out in the uh, woods, out in the field, we're doing things, we're running errands, uh, going into town to get groceries is a good two, three hour process just to get all the way in the town, do our shopping, get all the way back. There's no need to have the fridge on. So with uh, this, so far, um, about three months, I guess, of having the Opus system and putting it through the rigors and really hammering it, we're very, very pleased with it. Um, the other thing is super great price. Um, you can't beat it. You have all of this, the panels, the adapters and everything. The price is really wonderful. Um, I think, don't hold me to this, I think the 600 watt system is um, uh, somewhere under a thousand dollars, and then the 1100 watt system is what we have. The 1100 watt system runs around, I think, around eleven hundred dollars. Um, it's just over a thousand bucks. Also, they always have sales and promotions and things of that going. Um, if you follow me, uh, me personally on Facebook. I'm always liking and giving a thumbs up and uh, on Instagram, um, we're always giving thumbs up and likes to the Opus promotions that are out there just so that people can see them. We're not selling these. I'm not making money off of these. Finn's not putting a coin in her pocket. You can tell by the uh, clothes she wears. She's not uh, making money off these. Uh. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm fancy. fancy. I'm fancy. You're a mess. <laughs> You're a hot freaking mess, man. Um, but, um, the, um, but, but, um, as everybody knows, you know Adam. anything we buy and anything we're sponsored with, if it's a cluster mess, if it doesn't work, you will not hear from us about it. We will, we won't go online and trash it and tell people how bad it is and, and things of that nature. But, um, when it works and it's good and we enjoy it, um, and it's beneficial to our off grid lifestyle and our homestead lifestyle out here on our 16 acres, um, we will talk about it and promote the pudding out of it. This review has been a long time coming, but we really wanted to put this thing through the rigors um, because it is an investment. It's a big question. How much? All righty. 
right now on the Opus website, the now this is the 1100 watt unit. Their 1200 watt unit is just under $900. It's $899. Um, they're having a sale going on right now. I think the regular price is right around $1,000. That's amazing because comparable systems of far less um, uh, out, uh, wattage output um, sell for about $1,100, $1,200. Um, you can get the 1800 watt system, I think for around $1,200, $1,300, which is what 1000 watt systems of other brands are selling for. Also too, I believe there's a 10% discount code. I don't know how long it's valid, but it was just posted on their uh, Facebook page. Um, it's called OUP2022, O-U-P-2022 uh, is a 10% discount. So um, check that out, go to their website. Um, if you go to their Facebook page, Opus, um, and you just look for this logo uh, when, when you type in Opus, go to the page. There's a lot of really good information out there. You also get to see our wonderful friends, uh, Shane and Emily, uh, Arbor Seasons, playing some music. They also use this with their bus, so check them out. And um, yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough about this system. And, uh, you know, the thing is, is Finn and I are approached a lot of times by folks asking us to promote their products. We just don't promote products. Um, we try them out. Um, we really run them through the ringer. So to see us promoting and uh, recommending and doing a review on the Opus brand, um, you know it's been through the ringer. And it's been through months of use uh, before we posted this out here. Now, let's talk about packing this all up. It's really simple. I'm going to unplug. All right. I'm going to pick this up, I'm going to come over here, on the back here they have this easy peasy lemon squeezy little um, baggie in here. If it was my wife, she'd just be smashing this cord in here as quickly and as tightly as she can, but everybody knows about my OCD. I'm just so um, over the top and trying to make sure everything looks pretty and perfect when I pack stuff. And that, my friends, is it. And you're ready to go. Look at that. Well, let me just tuck that in there. Oh, OCD isn't going to like this. <laughs> but anyway, and that's it. These panels are 18 watt. Um, they, uh, uh, they are... Um, uh, uh, in fact, I'll give you the specs exactly on these panels for you. The panels are really e easy. They're, um, they're 18 volts, 100 watts. V very, very simple. Um, all righty. So very nice. Um, another nice thing is these are 18 volts. Um, a lot of your solar system, even our main solar system on our uh, big house is 12 volts. The higher voltage, the more um, power um, uh, 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 availability you're going to have. So that's really nice. On a nice sunny day, we can be running full time with this, with both panels out, and we don't drop in power as we're getting uh, more power than we're using, which is really, really nice. It's, it's really nice when you're using a solar system and you're creating more power than you're actually using. So check it out. Visit Opus uh, on Instagram, visit Opus on um, uh, uh, Facebook, and uh, I believe on uh, Instagram, they are Opus Official. And what we'll do is, and they're Opus on Facebook, but in the uh, comments and in the, in the uh, posting of this, uh, just check it out. We'll have everything there, including their website. I'm John, this is Finn, coming at you here in middle Georgia from our 16 acre beloved cabin, tiny house, homestead and stay. Thanks a lot. And remember, do something big in your world by simply doing something tiny. Well, we're going to power a tiny firehouse tonight off of just this. Uh <laughs> we went from 30 amp RV service and downshifted to 15 amp RV service. We do that a lot. Um, uh, our house can run on 15 amps, regular household, no big deal, but it is wired for 30 amp RV service. So we're running it on 15 amps right now. So 
we're only running the refrigerator. We're only running this outside light, which we normally wouldn't be doing. We're just doing it because we're filming at night and we have one light on inside the house. So we have experimented. If we turn on the big chandelier, even with its LED lights, it drains a lot of battery uh, juice out. But to have the refrigerator going, the lights on, and uh, be able to charge like cell phones and things like that and everything while we're on the road. As we can see with a full charge on the Opus, we can get a good day out of this without having to recharge. And uh, having it on the solar panels all day, running it off the cigarette, the 12 volt cigarette lighter in uh, your vehicle, um, or if you have a place to plug it into. And when we're pulling the vehicle, we plug it into the 12 volt cigarette lighter. The Opus is proving itself. Uh, Opus, way to go. It's an awesome system.